surprised again. Maybe you guys can tell me out here, you guys that play video games and shit, but hasn't it been quite a long time since the fucking PlayStation 5 came out? Why is it still causing such a ruckus? Aren't they readily available now in shops? Why is Kai Sinet's fucking, you know, potentially offering free PlayStations causing such a riot in fucking parts of New York? Like, what's going on? Aren't they available to buy in normal stores like on Amazon and shit? Why are people still going crazy for PS5s? Please tell me in the chat if you know more. Because I'm really disturbed by this whole thing. It doesn't make any sense, really. Um, social media streamer faced a charge of inciting a riot on Friday when an event in Manhattan Union Square where he planned to give away a video game console descended into a mayhem during a crowd estimated several thousand young people. In addition to the riot, the live streamer Kai, um, Kai Carroll Sinat III the blackest name ever, was expected to char to be charged with unlawfully assembly and potentially other crimes. Jeffrey Madary, the police department's chief of department, said at a news conference. The episode, which began shortly after 3 p.m., was effectively over by 6 p.m. Three hours of, absolute mur of mayhem, actually, not murder, resulted in 65 arrests, nearly half of them juveniles, injuries to officers and some of those in the crowd, and damages to food, cart, police vehicles, stores, and officials said. Um... It was uncontrolled. It took us a while to get it under control and a lot of young people got hurt, said Chief Madary. Mr. Cena and another, another streamer, Phanum, um, Fan, how, how do you pronounce his name? Is it Phanum or Phanum? Anyway, I was going to say Phanum, had announced plans to hand out PlayStation 5 consoles at the park at 4 p.m. I'm not going to lie, right? Like, maybe if I was that, I don't know if I would do this if I was that age. Honestly, I, I did some crazy shit when I was like, 19 and shit right or even younger than that but i legitimately think i have too much pride to go and get a free playstation i'm just not doing it and this is a competition where it's going to get sent to my house that's one thing but i'm not gonna about i'm not about to go to a park and ask for a free playstation from a streamer like that's never happening right jeremy you know I mean? i'll enter a competition online i might retweet something i might like a post i might leave a comment but i'm not physically going to a park to try and get a, a playstation with my hands out like you must honestly no way never happening um but hey maybe if i was young i may have done it it continues mr cena's youtube channel has more than 3.6 million followers the event was spontaneous and came together without a city permit As chief madary said the city the police learned of the gathering from social media posts around midday he added by 3 p.m he said the post had gone viral at that point, he said the event grew exponentially rapidly and vast. Um, hordes of young people were soon packing the park and spilling onto the surrounding streets and sidewalks where they were blocked cars and pedestrians. The popular Union Square Green Market shut down early. Su uh, uh, shut down early sorry. Subway trams began bypassing Union Square. As 4 p.m. approached, the crowd grew restless and police department in initiated a level four mobilization. Imagine that, man. New York has stuff like level four mobilizations. That sounds so fucking bleak. That sounds so 1984, right? It's the highest level of response. While parts of the crowd remained mostly peaceful, others tipped um, into unruliness. One class of people stormed the construction site and then began hurling building materials, <laughs> rocks and bottles at one another. Fucking insane. Um, you had people walking around with shovels, axes, and other tools of construction trade, um, adding that the others had been lighting fireworks and tossing them at uh, officers. When the scheduled giveaway time came and went, the pandemonium increased. So when no play, so, so no one actually got a PlayStation, from what I'm let to understand, right? No one actually got one. So it's already embarrassing enough having to go to a park to go get a PlayStation for free from a streamer. No one actually got one in their hands because it just got too crazy. Great. Water bottles, basketballs, and computer and fireworks sailed through the crowd. One group of young people pushed back against police officers carrying riot shields. Um, a knot of more than 200 people standing near the flag, part of the center of the park directed vulgar chance of police. Yo, did you see this kid's video? This kid was so unlucky. He was just like walking, I think, back, and some police officer grabbed him and then went to arrest him and shoved his face into this taxi. And he smashed the wind. He smashed his face through the window. <laughs> he put him up. <laughs> he put him up to the back of the taxi to arrest him, and he inadvertently pushed him too hard, and he smashed his head through the fucking windshield. <laughs> oh, honestly, man, no free PlayStation is worth that. 
None. I don't care. Um, obviously, riot shields. People in the crowd began to commit acts of violence against the police and the public. A lot of young people were not following the orders. They really wanted to see this influencer. I'm just happy that, you know, New, New York is a very multicultural city. Kai Sina, obviously, being one of the biggest streamers in the world, also attracts a very multicultural, you know, group of people he's got his fan base is multicultural too so i'm just happy it's not all niggas because this is if this is if this was all fucking niggas people would have been going crazy the fucking response to social media would have been so awful but because there's plenty of you know very excited you know under 18 year old fucking caucasian kids you know who also love kai Sinat, it makes it a lot more tolerable to see online you know that's it basically so I'm happy that that happened. I'm happy it's not all niggas. A lot of these young people were not following the orders. By 5 p.m., the police had pushed most of the crowd onto the Park Avenue with hundreds of young people flooding both lanes, um, stopping traffic and banging on cars and hurling things. That's my friend you're arresting in teenager, yelled the officer. That's my boy. <laughs> Imagine thinking this is going to get your friend, you know, is going to get your friend released from fucking arrest from the police that's my boy <laughs> he's got twenty thousand followers on tiktok <laughs> fanon follows him on instagram <laughs> he's part of amp <laughs> that's my boy <laughs> an officer says you want to get arrested too an officer replied grabbing the teenager take him to the ground so they both got arrested with zip ties there's nothing more there's nothing more embarrassing than getting arrested anyway number one it's just very like humiliating right to just have somebody another person you know basically arresting you yeah telling you've done too much it's way more embarrassing when they arrest you with fucking zip tie cuffs if you're gonna arrest me put me in fucking actual handcuffs right metal steel whatever those things are put me in actual handcuffs make me feel it squeeze my arm a little bit hell hell some racial abuse in my ear call me nigger with a hard r do you know what I mean? Talk about, you know, how my ancestors fucking died in boats or some shit. Put your knee on my back. But don't give me fucking zip tie cuffs. Like off white fucking handcuffs. Do you know what I mean? Don't don't take the piss out of me. If you're gonna arrest me, arrest me properly. The police pushed a group of young people up the avenue, uh, moving up the block at, at, at time, um, every minute, few minutes, helicopters are surrounding them. The 19th Street, a crowd of those began, sorry, being driven north correctively, um, took the knee and stuff. <laughs> these kids, these kids, these kids are the biggest trolls I've seen in my entire life. Look at this statement. At 19th Street, a crowd of those being driven north collectively took a knee and started a Black Lives Matter chant. <laughs> they started to do a Black Lives Matter chant. For what? What's that got to do anything about? I love those kids. These kids are fucking good trolls. At 20th Street, um, they sat on the wicker chairs outside the upscale restaurants as employees locked the doors and looked on from inside. Of course, all the fucking restaurants closed their doors. They didn't want to get ransacked. They didn't want anybody fucking stealing their breadsticks and shit. Um, at 22nd, dozen of teenagers stormed through the CVS stores, grabbing water bottles, candy and snacks, and then disturbing them, sorry, distributing them to others in the crowd. When we started clearing the young people um, out here, the young people ran through the streets of the city, taking plates of people. What? <laughs> Do you see this? When we were started clearing the young people out of here, the young people ran through the streets of the city, taking plates of plates off of people who were eating outside. <laughs> these kids are the best. These kids are the best. They literally running past these people because you know New York has that annoying thing where they do that outside dining that isn't really outside. It's all like with a roof. I guess now because it's summer. They probably got barricades around them and shit or like little fences but it's pretty easy to just go and just grab somebody's fucking tuna casserole and just keep it moving right grab their caesar salad and just keep it moving fucking hell they were grabbing plates of people's food the plate that's the most niggery thing i've seen in my entire life like that sounds you know unfortunately very black um officers gave the crowd several chances to leave the area before making arrest and the chief said officers loaded some of these 
Uh, some of those that they detained onto the city bus, which itself came under attack as people tried to free those who were being taken away. <laughs> I love this. New York, New York was on fire. That that should have. This is what you know. I take back what I said earlier. I would have been there. This sounds like so much fun. Imagine right now in the summer, no school. You're bored. All the parks are closed. You nothing to do. You just at home flicking through your fucking you know social media feed. I'm going here. I'm I'm there. If I'm under fucking 21, I'm fucking there. I'm there on my little scooter. I'm there with my little fucking camera. I'm recording everything on my phone. I might take my little fucking fisheye 32, you know, 35 millimeter camera out with me, a little point and shoot, get some footage and shit. I might even IRL live stream it. That sounds like fucking fun. All my friends get on a bus. You try and get them off. You're screaming at the police officers. You're running around taking place of food of people while they're eating outside and shit. All these little hipsters in fucking, you know, Dime Square and shit. You're jacking them. This would have been so much fun if you're a kid. Think about it. It's disorderly. It's fucked up. But it sounds like fun. And Mr. C that was taken to safety and the police officers were considering whether to file charges against him um, for inciting a riot. These, th this shows the power of social media and the danger of social media. Oh, shut up. This fucking police chief is a fucking old fuddy dad. Mr. Cenac could not immediately reach a comment. One of those in the crowd, Josh Ortiz, who lives in Brunsville, section of Brooklyn, said he was at the park to see the two YouTube personalities. I just came out because I wanted to see them, said Mr. Ortiz, 18. I think a lot of kids thought that they would get a free PC or PlayStation and start making money. But I just wanted to see Kai. He's the biggest black creator in America right now. Okay, so they wanted to just get them. They wanted to get the fucking PlayStation to resell it on fucking eBay. Okay, cool. Uh, so <laughs> AZ's head would have gone through a windshield. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. Oh yeah, Richie, Richie is true. Yeah, you're right, Richie. Getting locked up over the weekend is is horrible because you rarely get released on the weekend. I love NY, but he'll hell no, AZ. If you're locked up on the weekend, you don't get out till Monday. Yeah. Oh, that's awful. Imagine being in a jail in fucking New York, right? Multicultural is great, but then multicultural jails <laughs> in a busy city like New York are probably full of some very questionable human beings, right? Um, that's definitely a good place. Actually, you know what? It's actually quite beneficial. Imagine you're in a police officer's right and you arrest all these people. <laughs> Uche, the loafers, right? <laughs> the loafers. <laughs> I would be a mark. I would be a mark. I would be a mark. So as soon as I've walked in there, clicking and clacking, right, with my little fucking loafers and my white socks and my black trousers up a bit high so you can see the socks like, looking like fucking Michael Jackson clicking and clacking. I'd be a mark. I'd get marked out so quickly. They'd be like, okay, get that fucking guy. <laughs> Run his pockets. Put your finger in his booty. <laughs> ah, I would get marked out so quickly. <laughs> There's no way I'm surviving in there. Especially with this accent. Imagine the accent... The fucking shoes. Oh my god, the whole look, everything. I'm just clicking and clacking there. Oh, I'm get I'm fucking getting marked out. Okay, I take it all back, guys. I think I'm thinking in my head I'm a bad boy, but the reality of it <laughs> They're just gonna see mmm fresh meat. Um, and there's a lot of my meat to go around. Pause or not pause. But anyway, let's continue. It's between Bobberson and Funny that there was a big explosion just a second ago. Um, but if you know, I like I do, this is kids throwing fireworks. It's kind of Kai's fault, he said. Wasn't planned well. And Mr. Cenac could have chosen a more open area. As the scene in the park unfolded, a large group of teenagers swarmed the entrance of a nearby Best Buy store. Uh, <laughs> prompting workers to lock the doors these guys are huge said 21 year old gamer from queens who identified himself only as zap yeah that's what i'd be doing if, if i was 21 i'd call myself zap as well call me fucking zap i don't have a real name real names don't exist um he said that 90,000 people had been watching cnet's live stream several days ago when he announced a giveaway Adam Mass, a 20-year-old student from Brooklyn, said he had come to the park after hearing the pandemonium. I heard that they were here. Um, I didn't even know. What, I didn't even want to get a giveaway. I knew something was happening, so he, we came here. Exactly. See what I mean? That's what it is to be young. You don't even want the fucking free shit. You just want to be around that energy, bro. You want to be around that fucking energy, like chaos, anarchy, anarchist. Yeah, man. Kill people, burn shit, fuck school. 
you know, golf wang. That's what you want to be. <laughs> you want to be in there, man. I want to be in there clicking and clacking in my loafers, skidding all over the place, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, mate. Fucking hell. Ble- big up the kids who were screaming their fucking I can't breathe chant. That's fucking awesome. The BLM, whatever the chant was. BLM, I can't breathe, all the same thing. But whatever they did there, big up those kids. Um, kind of seen that might get charged. I think it's a bit excessive, to be fair. Um, Considering everything else that goes on that city, they need to kind of chill out. There's loads of footage coming out of Kai Sina actually trying to help some of the kids and wanting to kind of chill everybody out and kind of, you know, dim the hype a little bit. So people people need to relax a little bit. That's what we need to do. You need to relax, you need to chill. It's not that serious, not that deep. And just let the guy kind of live. In my humble opinion, it's not that deep. But again, I could be wrong. I'm not there. It could have been more excessive and more crazy than what it actually was. But hey, in the long and short of it, Everybody is okay. Everybody survived. So let's fucking relax.